Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be discussing the issue of decision fatigue. As always please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them deal with this difficult issue. So what's decision fatigue? Decision fatigue is the fact that we make a lot of decisions throughout the day like from really tiny things to like massive things, they all build up. And actually science has now proven that we hit a point where we reach decision fatigue. We just can't handle it anymore. Now, we know the issue, most of us have seen the issue within ourselves. We don't, can't make any good decisions or we just can't make decisions anymore and it's just overwhelmed and it's just too much and we can't handle it and I'm too much and I really want to do it. Can't, there is really, simple way of dealing with this that also has the added bonus of saving you time. Something we know I love. I love saving you time. And that is having structures and routines in place that take away a certain amount of the decision making. When you get up in the morning, most of us brush our teeth. It's part of your routine. Now, if you had to think every morning, I'm gonna brush my teeth today. I don't know if I'm gonna brush my teeth today. Do I wanna brush my teeth today? Maybe I wanna brush my teeth today. That is the, the things that add up that will end up leaving you with decision fatigue. It's just part of your routine. What you need to do is try and transfer some of these daily decisions into a routine. So it's just something you do every day. Now for a while, it can feel like a lot of effort. So you need to make a decision to be like, right, I'm making the decision that when I get out of bed in the morning, I'm gonna drink a big glass of water then I'm gonna brush my teeth. That might be the first thing that you add in. So maybe you're really struggling with drinking more water and you're constantly throughout the day going, I should go drink some water and I haven't drink some water. That's the decision thing that you need to take out. You're taking it out because it's part of your routine that you go and have a big glass of water every time you get up in the morning. One of the big ones I find that people struggle with is food and like what they're eating because you end up making bad decisions around what food you're gonna eat and you go to supermarket and you're distracted by things or you've then like, when are you gonna buy the food? Like there are so many decisions around what it is that you're gonna eat. We have a two week rolling rotor of what meals, rolling menu I suppose is a better word, of what meals we're gonna eat when. We have Sundays is not on that rotor because we, we love food, we love looking at recipes and things like that. So Sunday, I will have some leftovers that I've frozen from one of the other days. The little one will have that at dinner time and then we'll have dinner just the two of us after she's gone to bed and it'll be like an interesting recipe that we found or seen on a TV show or something like that. It'll be something a bit different. And it means that we have those family meals the rest of the time and we have taken out the decision for dinner because it's, it's on a piece of paper. I think sometimes if you do the same thing every week, it can get a bit boring. So the two week rolling rotor works really nicely. If we get really bored of something, like we got, we had a veg, root vegetable soup on one of the nights and it was just, it didn't feel like enough. It was a Saturday night dish as well that didn't work. So we just changed that one dish, but it doesn't mean that every day we don't have that decision to make. And we've done the same with when we order the food. So I place an order Thursday afternoon, I place an order with a cardo and that arrives Sunday evening. So I know we're gonna be in Sunday evening because we like our Sunday evenings in at home. So I know that on Thursday I can sit down and place the order for the Sunday evening. The, the two decisions taken out there. Of when I'm placing the order, decision gone. And when the order is gonna be delivered, decision gone. That's when I order Thursday or deliver Sunday. And same with, I message the, the veg guy, the green grocer, and I message the meat place, the butchers. I message them on the Thursday and I pick that up on the Tuesday. That's just what I do. It happens to be that I drive past both those places on the Tuesday because we go to Richmond, a town down the road on Tuesday morning and we have a pocket of time that works nicely. So I've worked it into my routine and this is a decision that's made. I don't need to um and ah about when am I gonna go to the shops. It's already in there. It's already part of my routine. There is no decision to make. You could do the same things with your laundry. Make the decision of when is laundry gonna be done. Make the decision that you actually really like having a massage once a month. Set a specific day because even when you don't get around to having that massage, you've probably wasted time trying to decide when am I gonna book it in? Who am I gonna book it in with? Where am I gonna go with it? 
my first Friday of the month, she comes to my house. Eight o'clock, comes to my house, first Friday of the month. That's, that's our set thing. I book it in with her at the end of the session for the next month. So I can have a look and go, no, there's nothing that clashes. And in, there is, I just jump back or forward a Friday. Like I don't, there's, there's like no more flexibility than that. It's either the week before or the week after. Decision made, decision fatigue avoided something I wanted into my routine. And this is also the bonus of it saves you time. You'll save time once you've got more routines and structure in there, period. I hope you found this helpful and I would love to hear in the comments, what decisions have you moved into your routine to stop you from hitting decision fatigue? I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.